everyone, it's me Lieke again and welcome back to my channel. And today I have a book review for you. It's a book review from the book from the Great British Sewing Bee. Maybe you're thinking like, like hmm, looks a bit funky. If I remember it doesn't look like this. And it's true because this is a Dutch translation of the book so that's why it looks so different. But it's a nice book with a lot of projects in it so I'll start off with showing you the projects. Of course, I do hope you all know the Great British Sewing Bee since you're watching my English video. From the people who speak Dutch I don't expect it but still they should watch it because it's such such a great show. But back to the book now. Here you can see all the stuff that's in here. About half is stuff for women and then there's also some children's stuff, some stuff for males and some stuff for home. So here you have a cushion and here you have something for the guys. Or uh, here you have um, like an apron for if you want to go and cook. I also made this and I also made this dress already. If you look closely and if it's big enough, I know this is very small, but this is the Matilda blouse from Tilly, from Tilly and the Buttons, who was also a contestant in the first series of the Great British Sewing Bee. So if you're planning on buying this pattern, you could also buy the book because then you have it also with a lot of other patterns. And something that I really like about the book is that they also have included their seam allowance. I always love that. I really hate it when I have to add the seam allowance on my patterns. So this is the dress I made here. You can see the difficulty level and what you need, which is also very handy. And then you can see that it's all with runs and a little bit extra explanation. And I think it's a good explanation. Something that I like about this book, but I know not everybody will like about this book, is that you have the option of drawing the pattern yourself. Um, you need to buy special paper with all squares on it, so you know how big everything has to be. But if you don't like that, but first I'll tell you why I like I like this because nobody ever fits in the pattern perfect. You always have to make it a little bit longer, a little bit smaller, um, a little bit shorter, wider, whatever. People don't fit into the pattern itself, unless if you're standard size and then you're really really lucky. But I obviously ain't. So then I can just adjust it really really easily. If you don't like it, you also have the option to go to the copy shop and here it says how big it should be to be the real size or you can even download it in PDF and then print it. So there are a lot of options how you can get your pattern. Something that I don't like and I will take this dress again. Dun, dun, dun. See how pretty this dress is? I made one of those and it's way too big for me. So for me, the sizes aren't very accurate, so if I would make it again, I would probably take one or even two sizes down and then it would fit me, I guess. Um, so yeah, but that isn't very nice. So you should always measure the pattern and should actually do it with any company or any book because it's not something that's typical about this book. Many books have the problem and many patterns that they don't really fit me at least, but also other people. I have it with many English or UK pattern companies and it's way too big for me, so apparently I have a weird body shape compared to people in the UK. But hey, that's fine. Um, yeah, and that's everything that I wanted to say about this book. So I really like the book, I really recommend it. And if you want to buy it, or if you made something out of it, I really would like to see. If you didn't buy it, but you're going to buy it, and then you make something, of course I also want to see it then. And I'll be back with more videos. I almost have my summer vacation, and then I have some time off to make some more videos. So. I'll be happy to see you again somewhere soon on YouTube or on my blog. If you like this video, please subscribe to my channel or give it a thumbs up. Then I know what you like and what you would like to see in the future. Bye-bye!